So you've just got your hands on your very first bike. How exciting. I still think it's the best feeling in the world, getting a new bike or getting your first bike. I remember getting my very first bike and it was a secondhand bike from my dad's friend and I was so excited. I could not wait to get out on it. But before we go out on our brand new bikes, we need to set up properly. And setting up your bike properly is the difference between having a safe and comfortable ride and a not so comfortable ride. So I've waited until this very video to set up my new bike. This is my new Obey Orca and I am very excited about it. The favourite part about this bike is definitely the forks. They're very snazzy. But as I said, I have waited until this very video to set it up and I'm going to take you through all the basics you need to know about setting up your brand new bike. some assumptions that your bike has already arrived assembled by either you or your local bike shop have built it up that is with the wheels the saddle the handlebars and stuff already on before we get started we are going to need some basic tools if you haven't got any already i would recommend a small multi-tool like this one it's got everything you need to set up your bike and it's going to come in handy after say if you're out on a ride and something works loose on your bike you can fit this in your saddlebag or in your back pocket and it can get you out of most problems when you're out on your ride and when i say tighten up the bolt don't go crazy over tightening isn't good so be careful when you do. You can get yourself a torque wrench. So you just tighten it up and it does a little click when it's tight enough. So first up, I'm gonna chat about three contact points on the bike, your saddle, your handlebars, and your pedals. These are three important things to get right when setting your bike up. Just a little tip for you. You can put your bike in a static trainer whilst you're setting up your position. This will make it easier because you can jump on and off and test the position out to see if it, if it works for you. But if you don't have one, don't worry, you can do all these steps without one. You could even get your family member to hold you upright while you test the position. I'm gonna start off by putting my pedals on my bike. This is gonna make setting the rest of the bike up a lot easier. Now, your bike might have come with flat pedals. They are the most common pedals, but there are lots of different pedals out there you can get. I've opted for clip, clipless pedals. Now, even though they're called clipless, you do actually clip into them. And I find these are really good. You can really get the most out of every pedal stroke. And there are lots of different clipless pedals that you can get. You can get single-sided or double-sided. So shop around and see what takes your fancy. When you go to putting your pedals on, make sure you grease them if they are new. Mine have come off an old bike, so they still have a fair amount of grease on them. Also, make sure you put them on the right way. Always start fitting your pedals by hand and then use an Allen key or a pedal spanner once the threads have caught. The last thing you want to do is damage the threads in your crank. You only need to nip them up tight, otherwise they might be a bit tough to remove. If you do want to try out clipless pedals, then we have done an in-depth video on how to set them up. The saddle height will affect your pedaling efficiency. Now it's important to get the saddle height right because the wrong saddle height can aggravate or contribute to any injuries. So to adjust our saddle height, we need to loosen this bolt here to allow the seat post to move up and down. I'm just gonna show you a rough, quick guide to how I set my saddle height. First up, make sure you're wearing what you'd wear if you're going out on a ride. That includes bib shorts and cycling shoes, if you have them. This way, any adjustments we make are accurate. A really simple way to set your saddle height is to sit on your bike and place your pedal down at six o'clock. Place your foot in the middle of the pedal and you should have a nice slight bend in your leg. As you can see, this saddle is way too high for me. I'm having to rotate my hips to be able to reach the pedal when it's at the bottom. So I need to put my saddle height down. Make sure to tighten enough so the seat post doesn't slip, but be careful not to over tighten on carbon frames or seat posts. So I've just moved my saddle height down and now as you can see, I've got a nice slight bend in it. My leg isn't locked out and I don't have to rotate my hips to be able to reach the pedals. If the saddle height is too low, it will put strain on your knees on the top of the pedal stroke. And if it's too high, you will have to rotate your hips to be able to reach the bottom of the pedal. 
Next, we're gonna move on to the saddle layback. So this is getting the saddle in the right position so it can move forwards and backwards if we undo this ball here. So the idea of this is to get the saddle in the best position for you to get maximum force through the pedals. So you wanna sit on your bike with your foot at three o'clock. Now your knee should go straight down through the pedal. You only need to slightly loosen the bolt to allow the saddle to move. When adjusting, make sure you don't exceed the minimum or the maximum distances marked on the saddle rails. Once you're happy, go ahead and tighten your bolt up. Now it might be a good idea to take a little multi-tool out on your first few rides so you can make some little tweaks when you're out. You might also want to consider the angle of your saddle. Now I like to ride with mine pretty flat but depending on the type of saddle you have you might want to tilt it down a little bit or up a little bit. Whatever you feel is more comfortable. You do this using the same bolt loosening slightly and putting pressure on the tip or the tail of the saddle. Your new bike might already come with a saddle on it, but it might not be the right saddle for you. Try that out for a few rides, and if you are getting some discomfort from it, head to your local bike shop and see if you can trial out a saddle. There are a huge variety of saddles out there, so it's a good idea to trial a few before you commit to buying one. The combination of the handlebars, the gears, the brakes, and the stem are what we call the cockpit. Now there's plenty we can do and adjust here to make your bike fit better, perform better, feel more comfortable and help you be in better control of your bike. You can raise or lower your handlebars to suit your posture and adjust your reach. Having higher handlebars will give you more of an upright position and bring everything a little bit closer to you. You can also do the opposite, so this tends to be more of an aggressive position used by riders who are racing. As you can see, my handlebars are as high as they can go at the moment. So coming from a racing background, I like my handlebars quite low, so I'm gonna lower my handlebars. To adjust the height of the handlebars, we need to undo the top cap and the stem clamps on the side. You can do this by using an Allen key. The top cap will come out like that. You can then pull your handlebars up like that. Most bikes have spaces like this. You can slide them off and rearrange them. Just make sure you have the same amount of spaces after, so the headset will be able to tighten. Once you're happy with the height of the handlebars, put your handlebars back on the steerer and make sure it's all the way down so there's no gaps in between. You then want to put your top cap on and start screwing that back in. We need to make sure the handlebars are straight as well. So make sure you line everything up nice and straight. And start tightening everything back up. Slowly tighten the bolt, rocking the bike until there's no play in it. Make sure to do the ones on the side of the stem as well. Once you've made sure everything is tight, you're good to go. You can also tweak your handlebars and levers by moving the bar on the stem. And you can do this by loosening the four bolts on the front of the stem. You can also do the same for the levers. So you undo them and then you can move them around slightly on the bar. This is a really important one because you need to be able to reach your brakes and your gears from the tops and on the drops. A good starting point is to have them level, like I have them here and then you could go out and feel like you need them a little bit higher so you can adjust them. So if you do want to change the position of your levers, you can do so by peeling back the rubber hood and it should unveil a little bolt inside. You need to undo that bolt and give it a little wiggle around. There isn't too much room for adjustment here because of the handlebar tape, but it should be enough to get it in the right position for you. Hopefully this video will give you a good starting point, but the more you start to ride your bike, the more you'll understand what works for you and what doesn't. But remember, if something starts to hurt, don't ignore it. There's probably something you can adjust to fix it. If we didn't cover anything in this video, don't worry. There's loads more videos on the channel that go into a lot more detail about bike fit. Let us know how you got on setting your very first road bike up and hope you have many happy rides on it. I'm off to ride my new bike in the sunshine now. Can't wait. How do I get my whole body in the shop?
Wow, why did I think that was going to work? 